Hey everybody, it's Stuart with One on the Dime. So, a lot of y'all liked my Stella Rosa videos. And uh, some of y'all recommended I try some other things. And y'all sent me some emails or DMs telling me what to do. I don't know if I like y'all right now because this is one of the things you wanted. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Boone's Farm Strawberry Hill. That's right, Boone's Farm. Now I feel like I'm out of place here um, because I feel like this needs to change. There we go. That's better. I'm not gonna waste a wine glass on this. Screw top plus one. Uh, and from a color standpoint, it is pale fake looking pink. Uh, no artifacts, no cloudiness, as you can see. Um, <laughs> I'm not even gonna worry about the color on this. Uh, so, in terms of the nose, it smells like melted strawberry Jolly Rancher, uh, orange candy, and like a lemon drop. So, kind of ca very candied notes, um, but it smells familiar at least. It, it smells like things that I could kind of go pick out of a bag, like my kids. Halloween candy bag probably um, but that's it I, I don't expect tertiary and I don't expect secondary at all uh, <laughs> so how does it taste believe it or not I don't hate it <laughs> I have never had this and I thought I would I thought I would hate it but it's it's medium dry it's not too sweet but it does have a bit of a sugary note to it um, those flavors are there and while they do taste like candy they don't taste like cough syrup, like the Stella Rosa Black, or like anything that is overly manufactured and fake. It just tastes like it smells, which is non-offensive sort of candy notes. I actually did not expect myself to enjoy this. I thought I would hate it. But um, how much did I enjoy it? Well, let's get to the blick. So from a balance standpoint, I mean, give me half a point. You're sweet, but you don't really have much acid to you. Um, if I was to go through and do the full W set assessment, I would say this had a full body, it had medium, maybe medium minus acid, and it was a medium finish, uh, which goes into length, half a point for finish. Uh, intensity on the nose, you're medium minus on the nose. You don't really open up very much, uh, and on the palate, you're medium. So I'm gonna go ahead and round it up a little bit and give you half a point there. And in terms of complexity, no. I'm not gonna give you any complexity. Um, now, here's the thing. You're one and a half points, which I did not expect for a Boone's Farm. I'm gonna give you okay. I mean, if you had more acid, I would actually probably say you're good and say you could drink this with a solo drinker or mix it in with something, pair it with some Halloween candy because it would really pair well with this, especially the fruity stuff like Skittles and other stuff. But um, I, I can't believe that I actually gave this okay. I thought I was gonna drain it, but um, I know joke, I have a relative who would probably really enjoy it and we're gonna go see her soon. So I'm probably just gonna keep the cap on it and give it to her and see what she thinks. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Boone's Farm Strawberry Hill? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.